took them to France and left her daughter with their grandmom. I think this is where she was little. And denied her contact with the girl for 10 years. Is that the idea of coming? She was able to start talking to her and all of that. Grandma was kept on feeding her that she was a rape. Rape. After a while, the girl just said, Please check if the audio is coming. Yeah. Yeah. All right, just go. Yeah? WFM 91.7, it's a beautiful afternoon. Welcome to Panorama. And yes, on Panorama, we always have ladies come together to discuss, dissect, and disagree on total issues of the day. Uh, Deb, it's good to know that you're listening to us. Today is no exception. I have the ladies in the studio with me this afternoon. I have with me Nabo Dixon. Good afternoon, Nabo. Good afternoon, Bukola. Good afternoon. I'm, uh, uh, it's like Friday because it's like it's Friday. <laughs> <laughs> we also have Wiki Ferry Ajala. Good afternoon, Wiki. Good afternoon, listeners. Good afternoon, my fellow speakers. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it's good to have you in the studio this afternoon. Yeah, and um, same here. Yes, it's good to have you. The phone lines will be open shortly for you to make your contributions. And also, we can definitely get to read your messages with this and the So right now, we have two stories that we're going to be looking into. And both of them are similar, because um, these stories were cases of suicide. And, you know, they were just two different stories. And um, both of them, whichever way, was really so pathetic. Um, there, there was a young lady who, you know, uh, was raped. And according to the story, she was probably you know, medically attended to, she took some pills just to, you know, for any eventuality at all. But then she got pregnant and she gave birth to the child. But her child was left with her grandma and herself and her parents traveled out of the country. Now she was denied access to this child for like 10 years. She couldn't talk to her child. And um, by the time she started talking to the child, you know, she wasn't too much of a talker. She was just one word and and all of that. But um, according to the story, grandma kept reminding her of who she was, of how she became who she is. And grandma kept telling her that she was a rip, you know, um, product and some other things. But down the line, somehow she could, but then how do we react in such situations how do we handle the situation is really very important. Grandma had a part to play. Mm. The parents had their parts to play. Mm. But um, in a situation where there is rape and there is a child involved, even about, and um, it seems like, you know, the whole world is on this, you know, most of the time, nobody wants to really have anything to do with an issue of rape. But is this supposed to be the fault of the product of you know, it's supposed to be the fault of the child that came from the issue of rape. Thank you, Bukola. Um, I just want to say that um, it's unfortunate how um, some persons are reason and how they handle some some kind of very um, bad situation. Mm. If you understand, and how they allow their pain to linger on another person. Mm. Because whatever the grandmother was doing to that little girl was the transfer of her aggression on that little girl. Mm. And it is most unfair. Because you see, a lot of times we tend to do this thing, we look for where to exert all of this anger. And then this person is innocent and the person begins to wonder. You see, something happens and somebody, mm. you, you, the third person, because the rapist, the victim and the child. The child is the third person. The, the biological mother of this, they you know, just begin to hope that, like somebody say, you send soap and water inside that will gradually wash you it and wash it. And someday you are hopeful that it will be completely cleansed. We have to be mindful of what we say to people because you don't know. People have different um, thought. Uh, some will dwell on it until it becomes something else in them. So we have to. I mean, I, 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 I just can't find it. How come this, this little girl will be the victim? Circumstance. Mm. She is already. And then again, you know, you're now like we're playing it to her, reminding her, oh no, oh no, no. And you know, children, when they go to school, 
you know, I remember when I was a child, you go to school, you hear, like, I used to talk a lot about my dad to a point that some people said, ah, maybe I didn't know my mom. Mm. That was where I became, oh, she, I know my mom more, you understand? Mm. But incidentally, most of the, um, you know, some of this, because I was born up at this with my dad, so mm. it, I would always refer to my dad, said this, my dad said that. And I was beginning, beginning to look like, yes, I've always been that is still fine, but then I love my mom, mm. you understand? Mm. So that's that it was like, like mm. of how I put my, you know, my points. Yeah, like, like she, she would feel like she was a being uh, sort of very. Uh, you know, not nice uh, uh, words. Uh, words to this girl. She would have, we don't want to talk about it. A particular mother who was always accusing her son of being a reason why she was poor would have. 2545 are the studio lines to call to be a part of the panorama this afternoon. Okay. Most of the time, you know, you never mentioned something. The way we react to situations, most of the time, it could be out of a place where we are in pain, or it could be a situation where we are probably angry. But in a situation where it constantly gets into another person and you are not noticing it. Now, grandma is supposed to be like, okay, you are seeing enough of this life, and you are not noticing it. Now, grandma is supposed to be like, okay, you are seeing enough of this life, so you should be able to on. But how do we begin to address some of situations like this, addressing it in the proper way, so we don't continue to have cases where children begin to kill themselves or individuals are killing themselves because of stigma. Now, this is stigma coming from even a family member. Yeah, okay, thank you so much. Um, two scriptures, I mean, permit me to go to the greatest book for me. <laughs> it's the book of life, it's the Bible. You know what it says. Two scriptures come to mind. It says, "Death and life, the power of the tongue." Mm. And then it also there's another scripture that talks about out of the abundance of the mouth speak. Now the heart is not that that heart that you are thinking of. You know your conscious mind. Your look at the if you begin to extract the the, the growth painful things she's and she never knew that that child but i've done it better but the truth about it is assuming mm. you know but then the issue is that she could have done it better but the truth about it is that we cannot stand here and start judging mm. because the truth about it is that which i think i know she but the issue is that what is the way for you but like i always say don't know this, this is where emotional intelligence comes in that we all need to go through. I just have to play well. Mm. All right. Yes, if you have, do you have some to say? Yes. You know, um, listening to Kate Kate, some things were just coming into, um, into my mind. Um, like, um, we all know, you know, it's very common things that grandmas pamper their grandchildren. Mm, mm. In fact, some people tell you, I can't let my, my child my mom because <laughs> those children are all there. Because somewhere along the line in the story, they kept the, the baby. There was no communication and I would have been receiving a lot of hurtful, whatever, because somewhere along the line in the story, they kept the, the baby. There was no communication and I mm -hmm. And then, you know, they traveled abroad. Mm -hmm. You know, so anywhere we are, let's make the world a beautiful place. Let's show love. Let's give love. You know, if we give abundant love, step out of your comfort zone to give love, to show love, to, mm -hmm. to show concern. You know? and, I, and I also know that maybe in, the, in that environment too, because of the way the mother, the grandmother does, you know, the members of the, of the community also join. Join. Mm. Mm. Exactly. Mm. It should not be. There should have been a balance. Mm. You're somewhere. So my own, my own cry is that let's just show love. Let's make the world.